Welcome to Grumpy Man's Reviews. Quick video today showing how to put your Virgin Media Hub into modem mode and use your own router to get better performance and better Wi-Fi coverage. I'm using the Hub 5 here. If you have the 3 or 4, it's exactly the same way. If you are interested in watching more home networking videos, including Virgin Media pods and powerline adapters, I will leave a link in the description box below and in the iCard. So I personally have made this mistake. I've put the hub into modem mode and then just connected the Ethernet cable. It hasn't worked. And then I've had the kids at the back. When's Wi-Fi back on? When's Wi-Fi back on? So to save you lot from all that drama, I have actually learned from my mistake and I am making this video for you. I hope you find it helpful. If you do, leave a like and please subscribe to watch more reviews. Right, on with the video. Open your browser, I'm using Google here. So you put in 192.168.0.1, press enter. Here is asking for the password. Now this is not your Wi-Fi password, this is the settings password that is written underneath the hub. I'll quickly put that in off camera. Okay, I've put the password in, now we press next. Then on the left hand side it says modem mode, click that. Go to enable modem mode, apply. So now if you want to log back into the hub, you could see at the top it will change rather than 192.168.0.1, you need to put in 192.168.100.1 and just say if your line is faulty, just say there's a fault with your equipment and you need Virgin Media to assist you, they will not help you if you are using your own router you will need to put the hub back so for that either log back in and then enable or you could just put a little paper clip into the back of the pinhole of the hub hold that for around five to ten seconds and then that will go back into some people do use their own router and they leave the virgin media in mode as well they don't turn the wi-fi off that is called double nut and you start getting all sorts of issues with that i have personally experienced them that's why it's important to put the hub into modem mode so this will take it says five minutes but it normally takes around 10 minutes once you lose internet connection that's a sign that the hub is gone into modem mode once the hub is gone into modem mode, only one port will work. That's port number four or three, I think it is. Well, on the hub five, it's port four because that's a 2.5 gigabits port. You're best off putting your Ethernet cable into that. And the rest of the ports won't work. So you can't use them ports to connect your computer and stuff. You will need to connect them to your new router or your new mesh system. Give it around five to ten minutes. Turn the hub off from the mains. Now it's very important you do that because then your new router will get a new IP address. Disconnect any cables that are going to your computer. Then you fully initialize your own router or mesh system. Make sure you take an ethernet cable, cut 5E or cut 6. Put one end to your new router, it'll say one on there, and the other end to port four of your Virgin Media Hub. So on the Hub 5, you will see a green light, so from white it will turn green. The light on Hub 4 and 3 will turn red. That's to let you know that it's in modem mode. Then you go initialize your own router or mesh system, go into the LAN settings and make sure DHCP is enabled. Once you've fully initialized your own router or mesh system, then turn the hub back on and then hopefully you should be connected. It's as simple as that. So in my experience, it is best to use your own router or mesh system with Virgin Media hubs. I've used Virgin Media's hub 3, 4 and 5. In my experience, 5 is the best one. It does have good range and because it's Wi-Fi 6, your Wi-Fi 6 devices do get more speed. With Virgin Media, what I've realized with their hubs, their connection is intermittent. So if you want a strong, stable connection, the best way is to use your own because I am using my Asus Zen Wi-Fi system. Not once have I had a dropout for the last five months. I haven't had a peep out of my kids. That is the best thing. Honestly, it's peaceful. Normally it would be that the Wi-Fi has gone off, the Wi-Fi has gone off. 
I hope you found this video useful. If you have, leave a like. Any questions, ask me in the comment section below and please subscribe to watch more reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.